Hey everybody, how is it going? It is your pal, Sal here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a little vlog I am filming for you guys tonight. So tonight, I will be attending the opening night of the pre-Broadway world premiere of The Devil Wears Prada Musical. So <laughs> if you haven't seen already, uh, I did a review. I ended up about exactly two weeks ago, I went and saw the first week of previews, I won the ticket lottery, and uh, if you want my thoughts and feelings there, uh, you can definitely check out the review. Uh, I'll leave that <laughs> for the review. Um, but needless to say, I was really intrigued, so I wanted to come to the opening night, not only to support the cast, but you know, you know, an opening night, that's a big deal. And also, as we know, the music in this show is written by Elton John, and there's a very high chance that Elton will be at the opening night tonight. Uh, as a Madonna fan, you know, I'm not too crazy about Elton John and his words about Madonna, but uh, I'll let it slide for tonight. Uh, but if he's there, I think that that could be absolutely fantastic. The critics will be there. Uh, it's a big night. And again, if Elton's there, in the words of Miss Fran Drescher, I hope that I can be like, Elton, you hoo So uh, <laughs> there is that. So I am super excited to attend tonight. Uh, I'm going to be interested to see how the critics, when the reviews either come out tonight or tomorrow morning, I'm going to be very interested to see what they have to say. If you've been on the Broadway World uh, message board, it has been savage. <laughs> sometimes it's really funny, sometimes it's just really sad. Um, but I'm very excited to attend tonight. I might even stage door because I think I'm going to have time. The show starts at 6. I am sitting in the third row. Uh, I paid a little extra for it, but I think it's going to be totally worth it. So come along with me on this journey. and. Uh, we're gonna head to Chicago right now, so let's go.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cast party during COVID. Uh, my name is Kevin McCollum. I am a very humbled and grateful producer along with David Furnish and many of my collaborators in the room, the producers in the room. I want to thank you, first of all, for coming. The audience that showed up, as well as our creative team, our vendors during supply chain issues. We made a show tonight and we had an opening, against all odds, and we're so grateful to all of you. So thank you to you first to Broadway in Chicago for in this very difficult time, having five glorious weeks, we still have two left. <laughs> Woo! Uh, to create a show and have a world premiere. And um, I would like to now introduce you to someone who you might have recognized, but not in person, Lauren Weisberger, the creator of the book. Lauren, where are you? today and uh, a show about today and so we did thank you Lauren for letting us now, ladies and gentlemen, the leader of our creative team Anna Shapiro oh my god I'm so glad that I can't see anyone right now <laughs> Um, I'm not used to this, but I, I'll tell you what I am used to. I'm used to opening new work in this incredible city that shows up for its artists like no other place. It's so special to be here. It's so special to be able to share this with you. And I'm just going to be super selfish and say that it is incredibly special to me to have my kids with me for the first opening they've ever been to. I'm so proud to share this with Giovanni and Rebecca. And I just also want to say on behalf of the company, you got to carry a lot of water and you got to be super brave to be a producer on Broadway right now. And I just want to thank Kevin McCollum and his whole team for carrying this water for so long. Love you guys. Thank you so much. So why we did this tonight is unfortunately we're not going to be able to have a cast party um, because we have to protect the company for two more weeks. And I will also want to let all of you know, since June 27th to today, we've had 23 cases of COVID. We've had people out of the show for 11 days and then coming back in. Today we had Christian Thompson as Christian Thompson come in after being off for 11 days. And I know a lot has been written about this, but we lived and breathed the power of swings and understudies. So. You know, because um, Sawyer uh, is so special, they decided to break their arm as well. So. But as you can tell, he's very well cast. Um, so have fun. I said they. Sorry, I, I said they earlier. I'm saying they again. Um, all of you, please, in this very, very conflicted and challenging time. Shows like these tell our stories about, you know, finding your voice, showing up for each other. So take that with you, be kind to each other, have your own private celebrations tonight, go to the theater, it takes all of us. And uh, thank you all, and we will see you in theaters around the world. Thank you, creative team, thank you, Pat. Be kind to each other, have a good night. So I stage door and um, Beth Level did come out and she was walking past and I, no one was really staying and signing for autographs or anything like that. But um, so she walked past me and I was like, you were fabulous. And then she like kind of pulled down her mask and she was like, thank you so much. And then she walked away and I can go home happy tonight that I met Beth Level.